Hans Parchment wouldn't have won gold at the Olympics if it wasn't for a good Samaritan. Hi again and welcome. This is the Links of 7 TV Celebrity Scoop and we'll be right back with the details to come. Welcome to Celebrity Scoop on Links 7 TV, bringing you the latest news, views and trends on celebrities. Welcome back and thanks for joining us for the program. This is Link Sablo 7 TV, Celebrity to the Scoop. So Olympic 100 meter hurdlers champion Hans Parchment took to his Instagram page in order to reflect on the difficulties he had while participating at the Olympics. So while Jamaicans are still celebrating the success of Hans Parchment, the athlete took to his Instagram on Saturday morning to outline the difficulties he faced to reach the stadium on Wednesday for the semifinals of the Tokyo Olympic Games, the 110 meter hurdlers that could have prevented him from winning. According to Parchman, Wednesday morning while trying to reach the Olympic Stadium in the Japan capital of Tokyo, he accidentally took the wrong bus and ended up at a venue that was hosting another event. So, guys, I have a little story. For the semi finals, I accidentally went on the wrong bus to the wrong venue. Not even sure, well, I had music in my ears. And I wasn't hearing anything the, the people loading the bus were saying. But I saw the sign at the top at that bus stand saying athletics track. So I just went on, not even thinking about it. And I was in my phone listening to music. By the time I looked up, I realized, no, this bus is going the wrong way. I'm not familiar with any of this surrounding. Anyways, I reached the, the venue and it's one of them aquatic place where some kind of rowing or something like that wasn't sure but anyways they were telling me that i have to come back to the village and then take another bus back to the stadium and if i had done that i wouldn't get there in time to even warm up i had to um find another way i was trying to get one of the the cars that the, the branded cars for the games to take me but you know, these people are very strict and adhering to the rules I would have to book the car from before and to be able to get it to, to leave. But I saw this um, volunteer and and I had to beg because of course she's not allowed to to do much and she actually gave me some money to take one of the, the taxis that um affiliate with the with the whole games and that's how I was able to get to the warm-up track at the stadium and with enough time to warm up to compete and that's just awesome so i'm gonna find her this morning and show her my gold medal that i was able to get because she uh, she helped so i think that's a nice gesture i'm on the bus now to the sea forest waterway where i will find the good samaritan that helped me yesterday yesterday, day before yesterday, to get to the stadium for my semi-finals. So I made it back to the waterway and I already found it. Aligato, what's going on? No, I'm, I'm going to talk to her. I'm sure she doesn't realize that I'm here and I'm standing right next to her. Sienna, do you remember me? Oh, you, come. Hi, you can't really? Yes, Thank I you. am back to repay you. I'll show you something. You were instrumental in me getting to the final that day. Really? Really? Yes. I won. <laughs> That's just because you helped me Thank you. to Can get I to the stadium. The yes, so I took a shirt for you as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope it fits. Really it's extra me? small, yes. Thank you. <laughs> And I took back your money. Oh, <laughs> oh thank you, sorry. Took the money. Wow, wow, wow. Two days after the assistance and after Parchment had defeated a world class field to win the gold medal in the 110 meter hurdles, he returned to the venue and repaid the volunteer the money she gave to him while also showing her the medal and gifting her a Jamaican Olympic polo shirt. 
Well, this was just a very good move by the Jamaican Hands of Parchment just to show his appreciation to this volunteer who actually helped him in order to secure his top medal position in the 110 meter hurdles. And congratulations goes out to him once more for securing this top medal position for Jamaica and actually securing and cemented his name in the 110 meter hurdles. This has been Links 007 TV. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to the channel for more to come.